What's up, beautiful ninjas? We out here right now on the greatest YouTube channel on the planet. You already know. Listen, I'm gonna get into this little video here. Um, I recorded this several times, but I noticed um, I had some technical difficulties. So I'm just gonna get into this theory really quickly, and then um, yeah. So guys, right now we're looking at the Plato's allegory of the cave, and then I'm just gonna check on this to see how this is looking. All right, this looks great. So uh, right now, um, I'm gonna get into it. Let me just dive straight in. Let me make this a little bigger. Uh, uh -oh. All right. All right. So here we are looking at the Plato's allegory of the cave. Uh, this is our mind. Now, uh, some of you might be thinking, how is this our mind? Our mind is so simplistically the same as this cave we can see here in this image. Um, and also with that man standing above the cave. Um, this is why it's called Plato's allegory of the cave. Uh, let me just get a quick definition of the word allegory because at times I am not always the smartest and I would like to search up what these simple words mean so that I can get a better understanding. So an al allegory is the expression by means of symbolic fictional figures and actions or truths of truths or generalizations about human existence and instance. Um, an allegory is a narrative or visual representation in which a character, place, or event can be interpreted to represent a hidden meaning with moral or political significance. So an allegory is a representation of, a, of an image, character, place, something with a hidden meaning or political significance. So. And this allegory, and this representation of places, characters, and um, the, we can represent our own minds, and we can represent our societal uh, attachments. So, let's dive into it. See these two individuals here at the bottom? These two individuals here at the bottom are tied down and chained to the bottom of this wall. Now, they have no understanding of anything behind them, and they have no understanding of the people holding up this, uh, these symbols portraying the images on the wall through the firefly. So, all these individuals know within their own presence in time and place of reality is this corner of existence, and in this corner of existence, they are portrayed several images which have now become their reality. So he might ask over to his partner, hey, do you know about the bird? He says, yes, I see the bird on a daily basis. Bird is next to me. Have you heard about the ring? The ring is here. Yes, the ring is here. Okay, and have you heard about the horse? Yes, the horse. And the vase? Of course I've heard about the vase. So these individuals know about the horse, the vase, the ring, and the, and the bird. This is all they know about. The horse, the ring, the horse, and the bird. So the horse and the ring and the horse and the bird and the vase might not be real, but it is real to them. And to them, from their level of existence, these symbols are everything. It is their life. Now, let us move on. Next, we can see four individuals holding up symbols. These individuals perhaps do not know anything other than the symbols that they are holding. They are living to hold these symbols. Perhaps they have hidden intentions or hidden meanings, and this is why they hold these symbolic, uh, these symbolic figures. They can be holding these symbolic figures in, uh, in relation to the fire being able to cast out these images onto the lower half of of um onto the onto the people behind the wall 
Now, it is also possible that these individuals do not know that there are other individuals behind the wall. It is also possible that these individuals have invested their time and their energy within holding these symbolic images because, well, these images mean more to them than what it means to anybody else. And that's why they hold it. So from that level of experience, they are able to portray and cast out those images of symbols which they hold onto the individuals behind the other side of the wall because of the fire. Now let's move up higher. We have two individuals now being able to leave the cave. So it is also possible that these two individuals have realized that their reality is not more is something more than just these images here it is also possible that these um two individuals came from the four individuals holding up these symbols and said there is more to this life than just holding up these symbols so they have moved on and they have made their way up to the cave and as you can see they are climbing and this man here is holding his hand up like this He's holding his hand up like this because there is actual light coming in from the outside. And as you know, if you've, if you've been in a dark environment for a while, the when you're leaving that dark environment, the light that is coming in from the, from the other realm of experience, it can be very blinding and it can be very overwhelming and it can be a lot uh, from... This position, this individual has two choices. The individual can either leave, decide to leave the cave, or uh, return back into the cave because uh, he's used to the light and um, he's comfortable and um, he might, you know, um, already just want to go back living the life of uh, this uh, realm of experience and, and uh, experiencing these symbolic. Uh, symbols or he can go out and uh, make his way up to the upper region of the 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 cave where it is very vast and um open uh in comparison to the to the realm of experience that is encountered in and uh and uh and uh you are faced with within the cave so uh let's talk about more about this individual up here this individual up here is um now out of the cave and um he he possibly understands that you know there's more to life than just these images being portrayed on the wall uh, as so that um if you've made it this far even in your own life you can understand that the world is very more vast than what uh than living on in this cave and you probably met individuals um and i'm going to bring this down to the, such a simplistic manner um so there's imagine there's five people george henry tom uh this is make it three uh george tom and henry so george tom and henry um possibly george is living down down here in this cave and george has these symbols in his own life and uh these symbols are real to him, but uh, probably <laughs> more real to the people holding up the symbols that he that he got them from. And then um, these individuals hold up these symbols, but neither of them have the actual symbols. None of the he doesn't have a real vase. He doesn't have a real horse. He doesn't have a real board, and he doesn't have a real ring. So um, there could be people on on either side of the level so let's call this level one now i'm gonna get a sticky note out because i feel like um i'm actually getting somewhere with this and it's very interesting to dive deeper onto this um so basically
Okay. So from level one of experience, we can see these individuals, they are looking at the fake symbols. They have made these fake symbols part of their life. Now, the second group of individuals are holding up artificial symbols close to the real thing, the real, and they have made it a part of their life. Number three. would be these set of individuals who have walked away away from symbols and from for right now they're making that a part of their life. So number four would be the last individual which is on the upper part more most of, of the surface and he is now living in a reality where he is open to the world and able to acquire the actual object or manifestation now i would love to make this into a real reference as so um um i'm saying a real life real world so um In terms of trap. So, this is in terms of trap, the trap world. So, from down here on the, on the, on the actual surface, we see symbols of wealth. Now, I'm going to write this down here. Symbols of wealth. Wealth. Power. And fertility. That's uh females. Uh so symbols of wealth, power, and fertility. Um so these are the images that are portrayed, these are the shadows that are portrayed onto our our walls of reality once we're um once we're first coming up and and we see symbols of wealth power and reality and i mean in in fertility and we think that we can have those things if we align ourselves with that realm of experience and then uh we get tied into whatever it whatever um we have to do in order to hold those symbols up to our own head we if if um Wealth, power, and fertility meant I have to hold hold up a vase. I was gonna hold up a vase if wealth, power, fertility also meant meant that I would hold, have to hold up the horse or hold up the horse, and the ring, whatever, whatever I grew up seeing portrayed on the wall for that wealth, power, and fertility, I would hold up the same symbolic symbols, and unknowingly I would be. Uh, indoctrinating that same thing to the uh, people below me in the realm of experience coming up. So, um, unknowingly, we do that. We adopt, we adopt what we think uh, would acquire us those symbolic um, meanings, and then, um, and we we make we make that our reality. Unknowingly, knowing if we leave 
from that wealth of, of, of um from that realm of experience and if we leave the symbols behind and we understand that these symbolic uh th these symbols were portrayed to us by the people around us that had not went beyond the realm of our experience and the and have never opened the vast world of of, of experience to um to see that there was another way of acquiring wealth, uh, fertility, and uh, power. Um, so, the whole point of this is that an individual could be subjecting themselves down to a level in, in reality of experience uh, based on, um, uh, based on, based on symbols portrayed to them um, as they were coming up in the realm of experience. Um, um, an individual could be subjecting themselves into a state of reality where they are experiencing only the images subjected to them by other individuals who have never traveled beyond The one state of certification of those images glorified within their realm of experience. So this image is, this image portrays an individual being subjected to images portrayed by other individuals who have never left the subjectification of those images being portrayed and glorified. If that makes sense. And the moral theme of this allegoric representation of the subjectification of an individual's mindset due to the glorification of the images portrayed to the other people within their own subjectification of that realm of experience is an individual has to leave the symbolic subjectification and objectification of the images glorified from their realms of experience in order to experience and overlook the subjectification and glorification of other images portrayed by other individuals an individual has to leave in order to overlook other individuals glorifying and subjecting and subjecting themselves to the reality of other individuals portraying and glorifying images that they have subjected themselves to. This in turn will uh, allow an individual to reassess their own subjectification and glorification of the images portrayed to them during their own certification within their up-and-coming realm of experience, if that makes sense. Interesting. Um, 
you guys get that and you guys were able to understand what I said, and if uh, you would like me to put it into different words, uh, or you have um, a different take on it and um, have put it into different words, and would like to share your comment with me, uh, go ahead and uh, leave it in the comment section of this YouTube video. I just wanted to get into Plato's allegory of the cave and um, see if we could get a real uh, mm, dissectification of this representation of um, our mind or our certification of the um, the glorification of these images represented to us during our up and coming uh, experience um, within this life. Lesson of this be open, be vast, move past uh, what other people have glorified within uh, your time coming up in your life because. These um, gl glorification of these symbolic um, representatives are not the actual manifestation of those things. So um, you guys um, might, might love wealth and money and power, but, um, but you associate yourself with, with, buying, with consumeristic values that, um, that don't align you with wealth, power, and um and more money they uh, allow you um to align yourself with more status is the manifestation of status and um it's not even status it's not even power it's just the representation of false status and that's what this second set of individuals um curate um they, they curate not 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 the not the uh, real manifestation but the false manifestation of those symbols and um I feel like we really, really, really got to dive deeper into that tonight, and um, I feel really great, grateful for the fact that I was able to do this because of the, um, of the, of the new words that I was able to, um, to um, encounter and 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 bring my mind to rule in order to um, make this image just more clear and and, and sorrow for me to understand, um. So yeah, the lesson is be open, be fast, be able to move past the subjugation of and or the glorification of certain symbolic ide ideologies because they can actually be the false manifestation of what you seek to actually uh, bring about. So the real the real manifestation requires you to be open and vast and um being able to see past the subjugation of the glorification of the false manifestations and false symbolic representations of the manifestation um if that makes sense so yeah guys i think um that was pretty good we wrapped it around and then um we tightened up that ribbon and made it all tight and pretty uh we made sure that we were able to get a good comprehension of this um, um image and break it down to chops and bits and pieces and we also took it and put it into a bowl and seasoned it up a little bit and try to eat it in the simplistic way and manner and chew it and make sure we we're able to success and regurgitate ourselves this information back and forth and we did that so um not only do i feel grateful that we did that but we are actually learning and growing higher as individuals because we seek to understand and um we seek to over over um overanalyze and reanalyze and reassess our own minds and own psychology and physiology so that this way we are able to move past um certain barriers or obstacles that we face within our own lives and that we are be able to live our best lives so that we can be individuals that can orchestrate ourselves as uh uniquely and powerfully and whatever we or our values are glorifying i guess so uh whatever 
values and whatever uh, morals and whatever uh, things we ma want to manifest within our own lives. Um, hopefully, this uh, this video helps you realize whatever you get new whatever you're getting into whenever uh, people are around you are representing or glorifying and uh, what kind of false glorifications and false uh, manifestations um, are currently set in your life and patterns and then um, hopefully you're able to move past that and see a grand open vast world with uh, with the perspective of you know understanding that there are other individuals stuck within their own you know like little they call it rat races and um yeah move past that be a person of energy be a person of uh grand um grand grand Granitude. I don't even know, man. Sometimes my, my mind just really wants to say words, but, um, you know, um, down to our core, we can see these images. We can we can understand our own intellect, and and um, it's it's all within our core. But the more and more practice that we give ourselves, the more and more we will able to articulate ourselves and express ourselves as individuals and express this um unique um. Express our unique pattern of uh, of thinking. So yeah, have a good one, guys. You already know you beautiful ninjas. I see you later. You already know uh, this is the greatest YouTube channel on the planet. And ATM Bangers was just getting at you with the Plato's allegory of the cave. Thank you. Peace.